Hey, I'm Jason. Today in the lab, we're gonna answer the age old question. When I'm tightening this bolt, do I tighten the nut or do I tighten the head of the bolt? We've got our fixture here with a load cell. The load cell is gonna measure the compression force that the bolt generates during the tightening process. We're gonna put the same amount of torque with both tests with this fixture power tool, and we're gonna measure the difference between tightening from the nut side and tightening from the head side. And then when we're all done with that, we're gonna break this bolt because that's what we do in here and we're gonna see what happens. So let's check it out. All right, we got our fixtured power tool set up for 175 Newton meters. We have our bolt set up on the nut side tightening first, and we're gonna hold the head with this wrench, and we're gonna read the clamping force that we generate on this screen behind me. Let's see what happens. All right, we got almost 100 kilonewtons of clamping force. We're gonna switch the bolt around, tighten from the head side, and hold the nut with a wrench see how much clamping force we generate to compare the two. All right, now we're running the head side to the same 175 Newton meters of torque. All right, so we got a little less clamping force when we tightened from the head side. What does that mean for this setup? I have an ideal setup here where everything is aligned and the pieces are already drawn together. In this case, I could really choose either tightening from the head side or the nut side. And the difference in these two results is telling me that the friction is different from the underhead surface turning against the part to the face of this nut turning against the part. So this difference is due to friction, but in production, we might not have an ideal setup. And in that situation, we do recommend that when possible, we tighten from the nut side because there's, a, there's fewer things that can go wrong with the assembly. Some of those things that can go wrong when we put a bolt through a set of holes is that if those holes are misaligned or if the clearance is very tight, we have to transfer the torque all the way through this long bolt. We can get some torsional windup that happens too. Those things are minimized when we tighten on the nut side. So when we can't access the nut and we have to tighten from the head side, we have to take extra care to make sure that things are as consistent as possible. All right, let's break this thing because I got enough torque in this power tool to do so. And I want to show you what happens when we really let this thing fly. All right, let's check it out. All right, we cranked up the power tool to full torque so we can break this bolt. I removed the load cell so we don't break anything. And I also removed all of the angle limits out of our process so we could see a complete failure of the bolt. All right, let's put some torque into this thing, see what happens. <laughs> Strike! <laughs> Awesome failure test. Man, we really shot that thing with a whole lot of force, pulling out all the stops on the power tool. But bring it back to the question, do we tighten the nut side or we tighten the bolt side? The answer is we can tighten either, as long as we're doing the right things to maintain consistency and to maintain safety. All right, we'll see you next time.